one of my subscriber has requested me to uh, make a slide on the testimonial of the clients so of, with that request i have made this particular slide you can see here i have just put the heading like few words from our clients some detailed text and i've added the images of all the clients with their uh, names and here at the bottom i have just added a line with a small uh, circular shapes and for this particular client i have just put some green color and i have added some user rating with the stars and what are the total points and the right side i have just put the the testimonial and if i want to show the testimonial of the next client i have used the morph transition and when i click it moves to the second one and you can see here the user rating has changed again when i click it moves to the the third client likewise you can just make it for the other clients and i've just made it one more which i've just put four only you can see the same thing when i click it goes to the second one again when i click it goes to the third one likewise so let's see how to do this a simple morph transition slide for user clients or for the testimonials in powerpoint add a blank slide go to insert shapes and select line and just draw the line from one end to the other end by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect straight line and the shape outline you can just make it a gray color and i'm just going to insert few small oval shapes here just select this shape and click it here and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm just going to select some a uh, gray color and then you can just make it maybe 0.3 and 0.3 you got this shape this size and just you can add it here i can further reduce maybe 0.25 and 0.25 so i'm just going to add it here now how many testimonials you need to add it depends on you and on that testimonials how many oval shapes you're going to add you just need to add for example i'm just going to add say four testimonials so i'm just going to say one this is two this is three and this is four but the problem here is you know there's no equal spacing between this one you have got more space here and you've got less space here so for this let me just move this to somewhere here and i'm just going to select all of this highlight all the oval shapes and then go to align and just say distribute horizontally so you got the equal spacing between this one the next step is to add the images for that again go to insert shapes select the oval shape again and i'm going to make it maybe 1.15 and 1.15 and shape fill i can just say simply white and shape outline i can just say a gray color here and just put it and below i'm just going to add the name of the client i'll just say mr client x and just make it center aligned and i'm going to use a font called century gothic or any you can just select any of your own font favorite font all right now i'm just going to select this right mouse click go to format shape extremely sorry for this let me just delete this right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to fill 
select picture or text field I'll just select this one go to insert from file and I'm just going to select some images here you can see here and this you can rotate with shape and if you feel this this one this photo is not clearly visible then you can start increasing this one you can just see increase bottom I'm just making it here and then I can just make it more right and I can make it more left like this you can just play with the offset settings and then I'm just going to copy this control D and put it here for this client later on we will adjust it again control D so I've just added four now let me just make it I can just go to format align I'll just say bottom and this also align I can just simply say bottom okay so this we have aligned it and then again if you want to change the image you can just simply go and insert picture and you can just select any image here you can see here but the settings we need to correct it because it is not correct so likewise we can just add the remaining images of your clients and I'm going to add some call out box for that go to insert shapes and go down we have something called this call outs I'm just going to select this one speech bubble rectangle just draw it and just you can see a small orange just bring it up something like this so I'm just going to put it just exactly below this uh, small circle and go to format and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm just going to give some light color to it maybe this color I'll just give it and I can give some shadow effect to this maybe this one and increase the distance and increase the blur effect let me just reduce the size a little bit and increase it with all right now I can just go and put some text here I'll just say user rating and increase the size and I'm going to insert few stars to it so just go to shapes and I'm just going to select star with it with five points and shape fill I'm just going to use this color shape outline make it no outline and reduce the size so this is one two three four and five and if you want you can just tell how much rating it is I'll just control D to duplicate it and I will just say it's 4.7 rating reduce the size and put it here and if you want you can just add some more information below so I'm just going to select all of this highlight this and press ctrl G to duplicate so you can see here it has become one group now let me add the the testimonial here I'll just go to insert text box and I'll just say the word testimonial
all right and then again i'm going to set the same font which is century gothic make it bold i can increase the size if i want and i'm going to give some detailed text for that go to text box again and i'm just using some latin text and you can replace this text with your own text and reduce the size and this also i'm just going to group it if you want or you can make it one or you can make it separate also now the size and color of these uh, small circle shapes are same so if you cannot distinguish between this so i'm just going to select this and i'm going to increase the size from 2.25 to maybe 0.4 and just put it here exactly in the center and i'm going to change the color to something like this so we know that okay we are talking about this particular client and i'm just going to insert one more shape which is again i'm just set the oval shape hold the shift key shape outline and make it no outline and you can give the same color or you can give some gradient fill also and I'm just going to put it here send this to back and I'll just put something like this so we know exactly that we are talking about this particular client and the user rating is this one and this is the testimonial of the client X and on the top you can add some detail or the headline here so this is the heading for the title few words from our clients and some more details and for this client x this is a user rating and this is what he told about the company all right so now we have done with this slide now i'm just going to uh, take the user rating of this particular say client maybe y So for this, I'm just going to select this right mouse click and just say a duplicate slide. Select this particular slide and go to transition and I'm going to use the morph transition. I'm just select this morph transition and I'm just going to move this here, this particular oval shape and this particular oval shape, I'll just bring this here. To its position and I'm just going to bring this here and I don't need to add any animation the morph transition will take care of that and then I'm just going to reduce the testimonial and bring it more of this side and the user rating also I'll just bring this side you can see here and I will just say user rating is a four star for this I'm going to select and give a gray color so i know that it's four star only and i'll just say 4.0 and this also i'll move to this particular client now if we see how it works in the slideshow let me just play it now you can see here a few words from our clients this is the user rating of this particular client client x now when I click, you can see here it goes and it says user rating for client Y. You must have noticed that when I did the morph transition, all these icons moved, but this user rating has disappeared and appeared again. Let me just show you once again. So if you have not noticed it, so this is my first slide. And when I click, you can see here all this has moved but user rating has disappeared and appeared here so how can i move this also for that let me just select this particular uh, full group 
and under home i'll just go into select and just say selection pane and you can say this particular user group is group 25 and i know this is a user rating i'll just name as a user rating all right now i am going to add one more some text here two times exclamation you need to add it before the text so i'll just say exclamation exclamation user rating so whenever i click that one i know this user rating is exclamation exclamation user rating this is the name i have given now i have to give the similar name in the second slide so again i'll just go there user rating again you can see it's group 25 and i'm going to put again exclamation exclamation user rating so i have to just make sure that this is perfectly so maybe it is capital here we need to find out whether it works with case sensitive or not but user rating you can just see here and here i have just given some space so i have just removed the space all right now let's see if i do it on the slideshow when i click you can see here it is moving along with this so this is the purpose of this exclamation so this is a trick for you whenever if you are going to change the shape and you want that animation to appear then just add the same name in the both the slides with exclamation to exclamation before the text let me just close the selection window and then again i can just right mouse click click on duplicate slide then again i have to follow the same process again i'll just move this here and this testimonials might be i'll just move to this side and again this user rating this one it will go here and i'll just say right side move this also here so all those things you can just do it again this one will be three stars for example so i'm just going to select the same so it will be three stars only and again you can just move this side also so likewise you can just do it for the the remaining that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye